Harla looked at the rows and rows of stasis pods. Who are they? He asked the Terran AI, Gaia. Half our soldiers. Veterans of the Council campaign. Garrisoned here to train militia. The AI replied, as its holographic form appeared next to him. Blazing white robes of some kind in contrast to her olive skin. Holographic grass grew on bare concrete where she walked. And the other half. Artisans, engineers, scientists, doctors, historians, scholars. The AI replied, as it too looked down the row of tubes. Your technicians will have the patch completed within the hour. It informed him. Harlan nodded, then you can wake the occupants. The AI regarded him coolly. I might wake some of them. They will determine who else to wake. Harlan wondered who the AI would wake. A scientist to help the terraformers. A historian to catalogue the centuries. A scholar to enlighten the people. Just over an hour later one of the pods began to hiss. Step back, Captain Harlan. Gaia said. He did. And watched in awe as the pod opened and a human stepped out. It was a head taller than himself and covered head to foot in clothing. The human's clothing was awash in green and tan patterns. Harlan frowned as he realized the human held something long and black in his right hand. There was a blur of motion, and the black thing was against the human's shoulder. A crystalline emitter stared at Harlan from the end of the black thing. I moved between them. General McComb, this is Captain Harlan. He is currently my guest. The human spoke, its voice deep and resonate. Friendly then, Gaia replied. He, nor his people have given me any reason to think otherwise. The human, General McComb nodded and lowered the thing. Status. Prime facility is operating at 100%. All control links to sub-facilities were cut by enemy action or broken down in the intervening centuries. Last received status reports show them ready to begin operations as soon as the startup command is given. The AI made a sweeping gesture towards the human, whose eyes began to dart back and forth as if reading something. Perhaps they had a cybernetic interface, and the AI had transferred data to them. Excuse me, Harlan spoke up. The human's eyes stopped moving, then he regarded him a moment. What are you? It asked. I am a Kokarn. The human frowned. Gaia. No record prior to my contact. General, it has been a long time. He nodded, wake Alpha Squad. He looked at Harlan, you need to leave. General Theodor McComb of UTC Marine Corps turned from the alien, only to stop. I will not. McComb turned back around his phase plasma rifle, in the 40 terawatt range, still held loose at his side. Excuse me. Your people are the most important archaeological discovery in the recorded history of the galaxy. By the gods, just knowing about your fight with the Morlovian Empire has expanded that history a thousandfold. I will not simply leave. McComb started grinning, I like you Carney, But this facility is supposed to be top secret. Gaia. Yes, General. What is the status of the visitor center? Heavily damaged by the passage of time. However, the Kokan have set up their primary base camp in the ruins. McComb nodded, escort the captain to his camp then. Thank him for his assistance and request he return in six hours. I would like an intelligence brief on the status of the galaxy. Of course, General. Captain Harlan, this way please. Gaia began to guide the alien out. 
The alien looked like he was going to protest further, but began to walk with Gaia. McComb put the alien out of his mind as he pulled Gaia's report back up. Everything known since he entered stasis right up to the QU's disentangling. He walked as he read the reports. The last report showed the Morlov fleet and infrastructure shattered. But all Terran shipyards were gone as well. Earth was the last remaining planet, and it had been flattened by asteroid strikes. General, the facility is secured. Alpha's squad have been woken and I directed them to the assembly bay. Good. Find whoever else is needed to begin repairs to the control links to the other facilities and wake them. Begin fabrication of all necessary gear and tools. Of course, General. He walked into the assembly bay. The six-man squad were checking weapons and gear nervously. Alpha squad, attention on deck. Corporal Mix was cleaning his PPR. He had the weapon disassembled and he was wiping down all the emitters with alcohol. He wished it wasn't such a routine task. Something he could concentrate on, it wasn't. He could do it with his eyes closed behind his back. He had won bets like that over the years. Instead, he could do it almost by muscle memory alone, and that left his mind to wander. Let him think about other things. Like why there weren't any other personnel unfrozen. How long had they been down? It was theorized that a stasis field could last until the heat death of the universe, if properly powered. Even if not, simply cutting the power to a stasis field, it could take centuries for the field emitter to spin down. Everyone he had ever known could be dead for so long, their descendants' bones could have turned to dust. He activated his neural implant. Gaia. Yes, Corporal. He heard through his implant. How long have we been frozen? General McComb has not yet declassified that information. I'm sorry, Corporal. He swore to himself. What can you tell me? Did we win? The AI was silent. Unknown. What is known is that Morlov no longer exist. Thanks, Gaia. Alpha Squad. Attention on deck. General McComb entered. He placed his rifle on the bench and joined his squad on the line. You have got questions. So do I. But at this moment, this is what we know. Fifteen minutes later, they were trying not to sway drunkenly. It's a lot to take in people. I know. There will be time to freak out and break down later. Right now, we need to bring the sub-facilities back online. With just the Prime facility operational, it will take at least a thousand years to rebuild Terra Nova's biosphere. With the sub-facilities, we can get that down to a point where our children and grandchildren can walk the surface. And the aliens, sir? Honey Fox asked. Mix found himself nodding silently at her question. Guy has thoroughly scoured the Kokarn databases. Right now they are no threat. If that changes. Gaia still had access to the Gunners. It took her a long time, but those platforms have been rearmed. Once the Terraformers are back online, that will be your second mission, to get eyes on them, and verify Gaia's telemetry. I am manifested next to General McComb. Thank you, General. Program blocks prevented me from test firing any of them without hostiles in the system. She sounded petulant. But every control link and simulation shows green. Franks, the private first class woke up. General, why not wake up Bravo to check the gunners? Nix rolled his eyes and glanced at Gunny Fox, she shook her head. General McComb took a deep breath, Gaia. Of course, General. The more personnel woken up, the more it cuts into resources, like rations clean water and space. This facility was not meant to house any of the personnel stored here. Aya swiped her hand towards the general, and his eyes focused on something none of them could see. 
a mission specialists are waking. Finish your preparations and gear up, I have to go brief them. Author's account and link to original text is in the description.